Sup, sup. How y'all doing? Been a minute since I shared something with you guys. And I wanted to do that. My eyes look a bit classy. It's because I was napping out under that tree I showed you. So why am I inspired to make a video right now and share something with you? Well, something interesting came to mind that I think can benefit many of you. So let's think about the talk I want to I want to have is about money and some of the paradoxes around money. So first, I'm not going to I'm not here to convince you guys that money is a good thing. I'm going to assume that you want to make more money and I'm not selling you anything. There's no get rich quick. There's no I have no step by step. I'm not a master on this, but I think we can all understand the value of money. We know the value of not having money. You have to go to work. You have to work for someone else. You can't buy what you want. You can't necessarily go what you want. You have to budget everything, think carefully. You might not be able to afford the healthiest food. You make concessions for your health. Since your time is spent making money, you can't necessarily do all the exercise or the sleep or all the things that's going to make you healthy and just make the quality of your days more relaxed, more enjoyable, more stressful, or uh, less stressful. Can't necessarily, there's a status, there's a status that comes with, especially as a man, but, um, and, and you can argue with me about whether it's good or bad. It's, it is just is what it is, right? If, when you have money, for me, the reason that I like money the main reasons for because there's different reasons you might be some people might be more motivated by status some people might be more motivated by possessions i'm for sure extremely motivated by um primary and primarily motivated by freedom like i love freedom i love being able to sleep in if i want to sleep in I love being able to eat what I want to eat, when I want to eat it. If I want to spend a lot of money on high quality food, I'm going to do that. If I want to, but mostly it's about time. Like I want to, if the surf's good, I want to go surf. If it's sunny, I want to go outside. If it's raining, I want to go inside. If it's stormy, I want to be able to hang out with my dog when I want to hang out with my dog. I'm going to treat her to expensive dog food, right? Anyways, the point of this video isn't how great money is. Like, we get it. There's so many things. Raise, I didn't even get into family and kids. People will say charity and giving away. Well, let's make sure we're taken care of first. So here's where things get really interesting. It's like, okay, well, how do you make a lot of money? And my first thought, and most of us think, well, like, we need to work really hard, right? You got to work hard to make money. Okay, how come... How is it possible that the farmer or the construction worker who works really fucking hard doesn't make that much? And the person who just owns the right asset that they didn't necessarily work for, maybe there was work in the past. It could have been. But they own the right asset, whether it's a business, real estate, um, whatever it is, dividend paying investment. They're making a lot of money. They're not doing any active work on that. So it's it's not about how hard you work. Obviously, it helps if you work harder. But that's not all what it's about. 
There's so many exceptions. There's so many people who work hard who don't make very much money. What separates the people who make money, a lot of money? Is it that they're working harder? Okay, well, how about uh, impact? Okay, you need to make a lot of impact. And there's also truth to this one, but how do you explain some of the people who make the most money are traders and investors. You have zero impact in trading. You have, you're just taking money from other people in a game, right? And even athletes, you can argue they have real, they're inspiring, they're motivating. They, they are, but um, you find examples where you might, the people get paid who are destroying the environment or exploiting people, right? Committing crimes. There's a lot of examples. Now, you could argue there's exceptions. Most of the time you need to work hard, there's exceptions. Most of the time you need to make an impact, but there's exceptions. Well, those are exceptions, perhaps, and I'm interested in what those exceptions are. Because what if you don't want to have to work hard and make a huge impact? What if there's some other way to make a lot of money? So, and this isn't the most romantic thing, like... To, to say that maybe life isn't about work, maybe life isn't about making an impact, maybe life is about being as healthy as you can be, life is about getting outside, life is about putting your feet in the ground, life is about swimming, it's about walking your dog, life is about making love, life is about relationships, it's about backyard cookouts, it is about hanging out with children, old people, it is about reading books it's just about studying getting better at what you choose right so i fall into all these other ideas about what life is about and i'm coming around to something different right now which is there's nothing wrong with sleeping in and having a slow morning and doing a little bit of work and um now there is something wrong like if all you do is scroll on your phone and you vape or smoke and you and you drink and you you don't do anything but I'm saying like there's a productivity to going on a hike getting you closer to God and that it, improving it's improving yourself to a degree right it's you're becoming a better version of yourself there's, it doesn't impact anyone positively it doesn't make any money but so for me I want to spend my life on the things that have nothing to do with money they might cost money, they might be free, they might make money. It's irrelevant. It's not about the money, right? Like, I want to play basketball at night. I want to surf. I want to do a couple hours of farm volunteer. I want to work in my garden. I want to, but I want to do it on my schedule. I want to do it when I want to do it. Uh, I want to do these things. Um, and y'all can say, this sounds like a selfish lifestyle. Maybe it is. Who cares, right? It's okay to be selfish and to think about yourself. So back to the money thing. If it's not about, and maybe it's an exception, but if it's not about hard work and it's not about making an impact, what is it? How do you make a lot of money? And my answer to that is that it's just about studying the game of money itself, right? It's like people literally print money. People closest to the money printer. These politicians collect bribes whatever it is that they're doing for money or the uh, people in power siphoning money for themselves, maybe creating a negative impact. Maybe they're not working that hard, right? I'm not saying to do that. I don't want to do that. But understanding money and how it flows and how you can collect it and certain cheat codes. Like, you can make money by working hard and making an impact, but it's also possible you could be Mother Teresa. You work hard, you make an Im big impact. You personally collect nothing, right? So in my own experience with this trading journey where it's like almost the less you do, the more you get paid at times. And you're, you're uh, not getting paid for impact or anything. Essentially, you're getting paid to solve a computer game, play, play a game of chess well right? And I'm not saying that you should be a trader or that you should be an investor or any of these things, but there's a lot of different ways. Like you understand the money game, like 
vending machine business, owning real estate, collecting checks. People aren't in real estate. People are in real estate for the money. It's not because they want to make a big impact. And they don't necessarily, you don't necessarily have to work hard, right? You can be smart, you have business partners, online business. There's all kinds of different ways. I'm not here to say there's one way to make money. I'm not here to encourage you to trade or do any of these things. I'm just here to get you to think that maybe there's something more to money than working hard. And there's something more to money than making an impact. And that there's more to life than being of service to someone else. There's more to life than spending all this time working and that perhaps it's better to spend your life doing things that you really enjoy that you feel in the sense brings you closer to God or makes you better fulfilling yourself becoming a better version of you and if that's just having good days where you sleep in you swim in the ocean, you work out, you do a little bit of work to maintain, and you spend all day with your family or whatever it is, like that's not just okay, but sounds absolutely great. So just rethinking life a little bit where like, you've seen different versions of me where I've given different sorts of advice and themes and saying like okay make a business that has a big impact and other times like being of service it's it's like well what if it's just about freedom and money is just and work is just a distraction and an obstacle from and to that could be Something to think about. I don't have all the answers, but thanks for being here with me and appreciate you and look forward to seeing what you have to say down below. Much love.